Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the merge case sorted list problem. Merge case sorted linked lists, and return it as one sorted list. Analyze and describe its complexity. So they give you this example. These are the lists, and this is the output. So you have to merge them into one final linked list. So how can we solve this problem? One proof force approach would be to iterate over all the linked lists and put all the values into an array and then we sort the array and after that we make a new linked list with all the values in the array that are sorted. The time complexity would be big O and log n and the space complexity would also be big O of n. So what can we do to improve the time complexity and the space complexity? Well, one way we can improve it is by using a priority queue. The priority queue can be a min heap or a max heap. In this case, we're going to use a min heap because we want to have access to the minimum value. So whenever we want to have access to the minimum value in constant time, we use the min heap. When we insert into the priority queue, the time complexity is big O log k, where k is the number of elements in the priority queue. When we remove the minimum element from the priority queue, the time complexity is also big O log k. So by using a priority queue, we can first put all the heads of the linked list into the priority queue. And this is a min heap, so they will be the minimum head the head that has the minimum value will always be at the top. It will be the, the top of the priority queue. So what we can do is remove the top and then we can start building our final output. And then once we process that node, we can see if it has another value after it in the original list that it came from. And if it does, we can actually offer or we can enqueue that node to the priority queue. And we continue the process in this manner until we get the final output. So we can also use the domino technique to simplify the code. That way we can keep the head node of the final result. We can return it at the end by saying return dummy that next. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to say if list equals equals null or list dot length equals equals zero, I just return null. Making sure that if the reference is null or the list is empty, I just return null to indicate that I didn't do anything then I need a priority queue of pointer to node pq gets a value of new priority queue and then in the constructor I want to specify that this is a min heap and I want to specify that the nodes will be compared based on the values so I can do this in two ways one way is to use a lambda expression, another way is to use a comparator. For conciseness, I will use a lambda expression. So I will say node A, node B, arrow A that value minus B that value. So what that means is that this will be a mean priority queue, it will be a mean heap, and it will choose the value of every node uh, to compare. So the node that has the minimum value will be at the top. So then, as I said, the first step is to traverse all the lists. And then we have to enqueue the first node of every list. So we can start the process. So we can say for pointing to node and in lists if n is not equal to null if 
if n is pointing to a node, if there's a node, I will say pq that offer that node. So if the list is not empty, I will just enqueue the first node or the head of the list to the priority queue. So now the priority queue after this, the priority queue has all the heads. And this is a min heap, so the head that has the minimum value will be at the top of the priority queue. Now, as I said, I will use the dummy technique. So we'll say point it to node, dummy, get the value of new node with value negative one. And I need another one, cur, that points to dummy initially. And this pointer cur is going to allow me to build the final result. It will always point to the last node in the final result as I'm building it up. So that way I can continue connecting the nodes as I, as I dequeue them from the priority queue. So now I can start the process. I can say while not priority queue that is empty, I can start the process. I can dequeue from the priority queue. So guess if I do pq that poll. So now this node n is the one that has the minimum, the minimum value. So I can put it, I can connect it to the final result. I can append it to the final result. How do I append it? I can use my cur. Cur is pointing at the last node in the final result. So I can just append it to cur. So cur that next points to what n is pointing to. And then I move cur to be at this new node, which is the tail now curve points to n. And then I check if if there were more nodes after n in the original list, then I have to push the next node to the priority queue. I have to enqueue the next node. For instance, if n was 1 from this list, I check if the next is pointing to something. If it is, then I will enqueue that value to the priority queue. So if and that next is not equal to null, then pq that offer and that next. And then this will be the entire process. By the end, I can return the head of the final output. So return domi that next. I will run the code. Okay. I will submit my solution. This is working perfectly. So now it says analyze and describe its time complexity or its complexity. So the complexity, the time complexity for the solution is big O, big o of n log k, where n is the total number of nodes in the final output and k is the total number of lists. So if you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.